Hey guys, it's Pixel Plume. Welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver episode 34. Ooh! In the last episode, we made our thray, our thray, our way to the Dragon's Den, and we managed to get the Rising Badge. So we have all eight badges in our arsenal. Check it out. Whoa! I like that. I like. I like that. I like that a lot. We also went to Mount Mortar. We got lost, and we got a little friend over here. Hello. Say hi, Tyrogue. Oh, he, he, he's, he's looking at the Pokemon Center that he thinks is a mountain. I got you. But, uh, like, I, we need to get him up to level, because level 10, nowhere near strong enough. I, I'll, I'll admit, I'll be the first to admit, I don't think that's particularly the strongest right now, but, oh, okay. But, uh, today I want to focus more so on trying to get our, our little friend over here, Tyro, to the top of his game, and to do that, we need to get him to level 20. But the interesting thing about Tyrogue is that he has three particular evolutions. I think they're all based on, like, his final stats, if they're balanced or not. So, it, it's a finicky one to figure out what it's going to be for, m like, most people, myself included. I think, like, EVs, their effort values will pl definitely have help out determining what it becomes. Because certain Pokemon give off certain effort values, like, I have to look this up, I have no idea, but I know Geodude probably is going to give defense. They usually give their best stats, I, I want to say. That's probably how it works, but uh, I'm ready to do some battles. I'm just going to mainly switch out uh, Tyro, get the experience. He also has the EXP share, so you get even more experience. I don't think level 20 would be too hard to get to, but I'm curious because I'm leaving this all to chance, all entirely to the trainers on these routes. Uh oh, oof. I don't know if I want a, a Tyro. Tyro buddy over there to fight a Pidgeot, but you know who I do want to fight a Pidgeot? Mudor, I'm so sorry. I pumped Mudor up so much for the Claire battle, and he got shracked up. Like it was, it was ridiculous. How, like how much damage it got inflicted? It couldn't even, it couldn't even one shot a Gyarados. So maybe I just need like put a magnet on it. You know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I get to. All right, there we go. Level level 11. I like that. Level 12. So that was pretty quick. Uh, next up, Electabuzz. So the fastest way, as far as EXP grinding goes, is just to have the Pokemon you're training up in front with the EXP share, and then switch it up, because then they'll get 75% of the EXP. Three-fourths of it. All this math term. You probably don't want to hear it, because... This is not a daycare. This is not after school programming where you're gonna go to Kumon or something like that. Did you guys ever go to like tutoring for like like subjects and stuff like that? My mom used to always do that. And it's like, at a certain point I felt like I was too smart. <laughs> I felt like I was too smart for it because everything was just so easy. And I don't know, I didn't like that everything was too easy in school. So when I got out of it, because I honestly got tired of getting up every Sunday to do schoolwork. This is not Japan or like some other country. I want five days a week <laughs> as a kid. I was my, it was my demand, but uh, I do appreciate like all the energy and time that my parents put into after school tutoring, Chinese school, all that kind of stuff. It may have not been for me, but I appreciate that. And it did help out quite a bit, especially in school. Cause <laughs> before that I used to be such a bad student. Okay, I was gonna say, how did Repel get me? How did I get a Pokemon even with a Repel? Well, that's easy because Tyrogue's low level. Now that's a Graveler! I need all the XP I can get. Maybe we'll find. I think it's Teddy Ursa. I don't remember. It's either Teddy Ursa or Thampy. I don't remember because it one's, it's one or the other. Thampy? Thampy! Oh man. But I love both of them very much. I would use both of them. If I could, but they just come so late in the game. I, I, I don't. I say that, but I'm using a Tyrogue right now. <laughs> but the thing is, the thing is about that, I've used Fampy a lot. And Teddy Ursa, I already have Private. I don't need. I don't necessarily. I Private the Braves got this. Level 14. We're, we're getting there. We can do this. We have a couple side quests we can do before I even want to attempt going to the Elite Four. Ugh. All these wild Pokemon. I, I'm not gonna put a repel up just because it's pointless, number one. And number two, it's free EXP. I'm gonna do it. I'm not even gonna check the effort values yet because I just want... I just want to evolve, really. I want this to be a big old surprise. I actually just Twitter what they think because I'm leaving this a chance. Oof. Oof. Okay, well. Okay. 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 
You want to explode like that? All right, well, that's fine by me, I guess. Just gonna blow everything up. Oh, okay. So, uh, the thing I don't like about this route is that it's so split up into these different sections because you have to constantly fly up to, like, get everybody. You might take a wrong path or you'll, like, miss somebody. It's just like, oh my god. Why is this? Why is this route? I, I liked it as... I thought it was annoying as a kid, too. I'm gonna be honest. It was not my preferred way of exploring this route. It just felt a little bit... Like, I know the routes would be, like, rigid and stuff like that, but come on. Come on, that's not practical, by any means. It's Onyx! It, Onyx! He's a rock snake. Rock snake? Shout out to Rocky. You guys remember Rocky? Throwback to the early game. Uh, I wanna reflect, because we're near the end of the game, and yeah, we had quite a few changes in the team, like Charmy, who like the bee, it's actually Togetic, and also um, Cinderella. She burned things down to a cinder, because she's Cinderella. Ah. I don't know, who else did we get? We had like Bait. I actually traded Bait away for Soul. Soul's new counterpart, Helios. Rip Soul, by the way. It was. Ugh, it was ugly. It was an ugly day, that one, that's for sure. But it's funny to look back at all these experiences, like, did that all really happen? Especially with Let's Play, it's like. When, when people always talk about like, all the th moments that they liked about when I would play this game, it's like, oh yeah, that did happen. So it's always it's nice to like reflect back and like just think about it because I love thinking about all this stuff it gets me all nostalgic especially this time of year I don't know mom <laughs> we're not talking about lemons today no lemons we're just going to battle just gonna party up with my girl I don't know any of these people's names honestly this route like the late game route I, I think I got to a point where it's like I don't know do I really need to know all their names it, it just felt a little redundant to me it's like all right well I guess you can get off the hook by not knowing everybody's name. This is an Olive Garden where everybody knows your name. Is that the Olive Garden logo? I don't- slogan? I don't remember. I don't remember, but speaking of logos... Logans. I said Logans. I didn't even say logo, but <laughs> I meant I meant logos. But it was interesting because I was talking- our professor for- because I'm in graphic design, we were talking about logos and stuff like that. It's like, she asked us, how much should you charge? people to make logos for you and you're we like 5500 5, it's like she said 5000 it's like oh my god but i guess it makes sense because brandy's an identity but i just don't ever see myself reaching that point in a <laughs> right now maybe because i'm so young that i don't see myself like charging 5000 a, a pop for a logo that you need to pay additional for change it, it's it's all very fascinating i don't know we'll see because I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I, I love the program right now, but I, as far as the career goes, I always get nervous because like I never know what I want to do. But that's why, I'm, that's why I'm in school. I'm still learning. And a career is never permanent. That's the most important thing that I guess I can share today. What you do is up to you, and you never know where life will take you. I didn't know life would take me to this point where I'd be having a 3DS capture card, recording all this stuff, getting... Bank attack all of a sudden, and we're gonna get rid of Pursue because I need a more practical dark type move. <laughs> Pursue is nice and all, it's not it's not as funny, but uh, yeah, Tyro, get in there. He in there, let's do this. He's, al he's almost there, he's almost at 20. I think if we get through this route, we can do this. And I'm using all these hand gestures when I talk lately, that's when I get super sassy. <laughs> it's like I'm clawing at somebody. There's nobody here to claw at, why am I doing that? You can't even see it because, I don't know, face cam, don't add too much. I did it, I do it for streams. Let's Plays I find a little bit different because Let's Plays, I feel like the commentary works just fine. Because you're supposed to be looking at the game, whereas I feel like streaming, it's more interactive. So I guess having a face on the screen does help for certain times. Certain times it's just like, I don't know. I'm feeling a little bit too ratchet right now to really be on screen. And stop with the protects, that's really annoying. I do not... Stop protecting. Protecting is bad. It's actually pretty good, especially with VGC. Um, I know I said this in- I I'm falling out of Shiny Hunting, which is a great shame because mobile games, believe it or not, are taking over my life right now. I feel like absolute trash, but it's fine. As long as I'm having fun, that's all that matters. Kelly, she lost. Chia, yeah, buddy, you lost. You lost. Let's see. She doesn't want to harm Pokemon, but she's like- 
Oh, they're becoming. Ah, oh, they're becoming rosy. Ah, oh, Tyrone loves me for all the battling I'm doing. Ah, oh, yeah. I don't know if I want to risk right now, just in case. Um, it self destructs. That would suck. So Murada, come on in here and do some work for me. I'm not gonna cut these out because. Every battle is important. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> you can't do anything to me now, can you, Chiyudu? No, 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 no. Mudora is the perfect counter for you. I love that I get to use a mischievous and a Murkrow, Old Swampo, the Nosferatu thingy, my Bob. Alright, so just, I guess, just go down. That's the main point object. <gasps> You come here, let me let me smack you in the face. Come to Papa, I want you. You're so cute. Don't don't link me. That's 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 nasty actually. I don't know if I appreciate that, but it's so cute. Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. I love Dead Ears though, so I guess that answers my question which one's in the route. So I'm gonna use these nest balls. Shout out to nest ball actually being a really good ball. I didn't realize it, but like it works really well on Pokemon below level 40, I think it is, but it just works. Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it, it, it's just so dang cute. If I weren't using Private the Brave, you would be next in line, I swear, pal. You would. You a fighting guy. What's up? What's up, my brother? Let's do this. I was training here alone. Behold the result of my hard work. Hoo ha! Hoo hoo! Hoo ha! I need a break. Oh my god. This guy's got a Machoke. Um, I don't think I'm gonna even attempt to fight that thing. We're just gonna swampo it out. So moody. So moody. Tee hee. So foresight. We know this. I don't know if I want these shenanigans. By the way, the day I'm recording this, it was so <clears throat> bad out. It was like freezing rain. I, I was afraid I was gonna slip. I couldn't even see the ice. It was that slippery. It's like, it's like a thin layer, but it was so sleek. It was ridiculous. Please do not die, Mudora. I do not. No. Get out of here. I don't want any of this nonsense, actually. I would greatly appreciate that you fall down. And I actually ran into a friend from high school, like at the most random place, but just was about to go home. I decided to get like a snack or something to eat. And I was like, oh, I didn't know you. She was working at the hospital. I thought that was pretty nice. Like to just run into. I didn't talk much to her just because I'm always so awkward, especially like running into people you haven't seen in a long time. It's just like, oh, what do I say? I can sound so weird. It is what it is. I'm so gassy. Give me that. Give me that item up there. I can get items. You don't have to be all trainers all the time. All the gravelers are just coming out to play today. Oh, we, if we can kill this one, we can get two more levels, baby. I want it. I want the two levels. Now, I'm not cutting any of this, this stuff out. You need to see the entire process of getting Mudora up to up to snuff. Not Mudora. A <laughs> Tyro, and what it's gonna become, because I am genuinely curious. Oh, get out of here with that rollout nonsense. I do not. I am not having this. Side beam away! With this eye shock. I really wish you could get psychic, but you can't get psychic until you beat the game. The first half of the game, anyway, so. Side beam! It works! I like it. But, uh, we can do this, guys. We can do this. We can get this route. Any. Oh my god. Uh, as much as I appreciate all this EXP. That's another one! You're so, you're so happy! I don't know if you're worth killing. Oh, oof. I, I was just saying, I don't know if you're worth killing in particular, but if you're gonna play those games, I might have had to mess you up, Teddy Ursa. Two female Teddy Ursas, by the way. That's kind of, that's, that's neat. Oh, God. I know I said I was gonna cut you that out, but... Those trainer battles, man, they just they just started to get my nerves. So <laughs> I, I cut it out. I might run to one again. The random wild I need to get a breather too, I'm just saying. Talking without stopping. Can you strain your strain your voice? Cause I cause I'm a bad talker. I'm a bad bad talker. But I need more Oh, there are trainers here. Okay, I, I can deal. 
That would've been nice to get that guy too, but... I, I think I can do it. We, we're almost there. If anything, I'll just fly back up and fight more trainers at the top. Timothy. Timothy! With all these... With all these little nuggets. They're so cute. They're like little chicken nuggets, aren't they? Like, or maybe those like octopus we nas. By the way, I'm gonna share this with you guys, but I've been like obsessed with <laughs> watching, watching like those like eating those people that eat a bunch. I just find it so fascinating how they can eat that much and not like die or anything. It's just like, what the heck? Where where does it all go? Actually, where does all that food go? Now let me know in the comments down below if you know where all that food goes that these people eat. It's like Kinosh Kinoshita Yuka 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 this. Oh, it's so so cute. I love it. But she's so tiny. <laughs> it's more impressive that she's so tiny. She can keep her slim figure and still eat like like five thousand calories a meal. It's like what. What are you doing? Uh, I just want that. I want to eat, but I don't want you to think about the idea of the food budget. That the budget always sucks. Everything that involves money, it, it, it's just a little bit like eh, I don't know. I don't know if I like that too much. I want to get you strength on this Doug Trio. Stop punching me. What are you using to punch me with? Actually, oh my God, get out of here. You need to stop. And I'll eat all three of you, because it looks like you have like some cereal around you. And he has just three little sausages. I think it could work. Yum. Delicioso. So yummy in my tummy. Do we have any more trainers? I don't think so. I think we're out of trainers at this point, but uh, we got a little nice little lake over here. Give me that apricorn, by the way. It's green. It's green. It's green. It's green. It's green. It's green. But, uh, we're getting pretty close to the end of this route. The rest of the stuff we've seen already, so... I don't think there's any more trainers at this point. Yeah, we came out this way. Uh, do I have a rare candy? I think I just might as well rare candy it. Uh, you deserve a treat. You deserve a treat. Level 20! Alright, let's see. Uh, the final result. Uh, I definitely saw a lot more attack. I saw more attack! Oh my god! There it is! There's the answer! I've just been completely ignoring the stat level ups, but there it is! We got ourselves a Hitmonlee! Baby! Aw, oh, nice! In general, I'm gonna be happy with whatever we got as our Pokemon, but... Now that I know, it's a little chicken nugget boy! Oh my god, I, I don't know what I'm gonna name him! I'm gonna fly off to Goldorod and decide what I'm gonna name I'm actually gonna do a bit of training afterwards. So, I might cut this part at this point, but uh, we need to give him a name before we end things off. He needs a name, and I think having him evolve into Hitmonlee, I know exactly, exactly what I'm gonna name him, so. Mom, please, this is not a time. I, I'm, I know I'm a bad person ignoring him, but I can't forgive the lemons. They were limes, by the way, two limes. All right, let's give him a name and wrap this up. So, if you guys know, watch the Con Bravo videos. You'll definitely know the kind of direction that I'm going for. All right, so we're gonna leave with an A. I give that an A. Ampule, ampule. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go, ampule. There it is. Aren't you just? Oh no, he's all sad. Oh no. Oh no. I would have. Honestly, I would have. I think. Out of the three, my preference would have been, um... Oh, so he has Reckless. Power him up that have recoil damage. Dang. You're a scary fella, aren't you? But look at that increase in attack, though. That's ridiculous. That is... He's savage. But, uh... Yeah. Look at that. I thought it'd be funny if he got, like, limber or something and he's paralyzed. I was like, I don't know. I don't know if that works, buddy. But, uh, I think that's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this with Pixel Plume, and I'll see you guys in the next edition of Soul Silver. What are we gonna do? I have no idea. <laughs> Bye.